Why don't witches wear panties? Because they're witches. They can do whatever the f*** they want to do. Oh, hello everybody and welcome back to Fashion Trashin'. I'm your host, Cinnamon Charles. And I'm your host, Diamond Dumont. It's Halloween time again, and that means it's time for tricks, treats, and seat-soiling frights in the night. <laughs> That's right, Dee. Speaking of frights, I just had the weirdest thing happen to me. I was in the bathroom, and I swore I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I didn't think much of it, but all of a sudden I caught this weird chill. And then out of nowhere, the toilet flushes. Oh yeah, no, that checks out. Uh, what do you mean that checks out? Uh, I mean the studio is like actually literally totally haunted, dude. Okay, D, quit fooling around. I'm not. See, back in the late 1900s, this studio was still a studio, but it was called A Lot of Weird TV. See, back then, there was a real relaxed attitude towards toilet flushing. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Am I right? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Except for a woman named Fanny Frinkle, who despised the mellowing of the yellow. What is wrong with you people? Just flush the toilet. It's not sanitary, and quite frankly, it's disgusting. It's beepy, people. Beepy. Beepy, people. Bee. Bee. What's her deal? Don't ask me. She ended up dying from that fateful menti bee caused by her overwhelming passion for flushing. Right here in this very spot. It is said if you find yourself allowing your yellow to mellow, you yourself might just get a visit from Fanny the Phantom Flusher herself. Uh, maybe we can drown out the sounds by cranking up the old boo tube, huh? Let's wow. Welcome back to the It's Too Late Show with your host, Hal Oween. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. I'm not joking when I say we have a positively dreadful show for you tonight. The horrible Hollywood hunchback Yorsh is here with some kooky creatures that are guaranteed to make you wet both the front and back of your trousers, so you're not going to want to miss that. Plus, the queen of the fright time world, Miss Drusilla Mortem, here to talk to you about her new show, Drusilla Mortem's Spookenhausen. Say hello to the lovely people, would you, Drew? <laughs> Isn't she frightful? But first up, here's the guy we hate to love, love to hate, but just can't help but love. That's right, please give it up for the fresh prince of darkness, Satan himself. Let's give a hand. Good to see you, Satan. Good to see you, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Now, Satan, you're currently on the promotional trail for your latest film, isn't that right? That is correct. It's a rom-com called Summon to Love, and it comes out this Friday to a theater near you. It stars myself and... Uh... Dang it, not again. Uh-oh, looks like someone out there is getting a little some sum summoning on themselves. Do we still have to pay him for this? Baka, baka, doo, 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 do
What the hell do you kids want? I'm trying to film a goddamn TV show, okay? I am on a Christmas. <laughs> On this episode of Confessions of a Cryptid, we meet a Bigfoot with a very large secret. I live a pretty normal life for a Sasquatch. I lurk about the woods, every so often making an appearance in a blurry photo or two. But to tell you the truth, I have the most embarrassing secret. Thing is, when you're a Bigfoot, you're expected to have certain distinctive physical characteristics, right? Well, long story short, I have the tiniest little baby feet, <laughs> let me tell you. It's hard to be taken seriously when you have these. <laughs> hey, hey, it's not funny. Oh, oh, see what I mean? Bon Appetit! Ha! I'm Charlie Chippy Ham. And I'm here to haunt your dreams. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm here to scare. I mean share with you our new Halloween menu at Back That's Casual's Dining and Karaoke Bar. You'll go batty bat crap cray cray over our bat wing fingles. Flop them in your trap with flavors such as sour scream. <laughs> and bloody buttery jalapeno. <laughs> While you're at it. Sum them up, some of my brand new chippies, paint the Grammy Hammy Sammy. Mmm, <laughs> now that's what I call sacrilegious. My tummies are grumbling just thinking about all that spooky snackage. Sorry, that was me. But seriously, I'm famished. Can I get one of those paint the Grammy Sammies and a life go? To go. <laughs> A smell arises, a scum procured, mildew dust crud, absurd, hair and fur, slime and grime, water cleanses but rots with time, pull back the curtain, the horror exhumed, this is why I hate cleaning the bathroom. Oh, it's so gross. And a fine boo to you. You're watching MMH, and I'm your host, Ellis Theory of Bing. This Halloween, we're digging up some highly haunted hits. And tonight, we're crawling all the way back to the 1980-90s with this uber-creepy classic. From the ever-frightening Noir Nevermore with the Sinister Shadow Man. Fright this way. A long time ago, when I was a kid, saw a strange things, so you bet I did. But none of them scare me any greater than the likes of the sinister Shadow Man. The Shadow Man is lengthy and scrongly, weakly jiggly legs that are skinny and longly. Need him in the night when everyone's asleep. You got something you want to say to me? I remember that night he came right in, walked up the stairs and through the wall he did, to the side of my bed, and he bent and I said, Please watch me. So I ran down the hall to my parents' room. I told them all about this lanky creature of doom. They said, go back to bed and get out of here. Now it's not the time for your irrational fears. So I walked down the hall and who do I see? The shadow man lurking right in front of me. He looked me in the eyes and all that he said, For years now, I've been sleeping in front of your bed. I 
watch you sleep and I watch you eat. I watch you when you're 70 feet. I watch you when you're not at home. And especially all the times you thought you were alone. He walked through me and into my room, then disappeared unlike my feeling of doom. After this fright, paralyzed by fear, I told everyone with a pair of ears about the creature I saw. And later that night, I told a nice man in a coat of white. He said, Eat these pills and you'll feel alright. Now I'm sitting in a cell that's locked up tight. Can't get me now. Bet you didn't think you'd see me here tonight. <laughs> Let me out of here. Let me out of here. I gotta get out of here. Why do ghosts like to ride in elevators? It lifts their spirits. Greetings, goblins, ghouls, and gargoyles. You're watching Drusilla Mortem Spookenhausen. In surprise, I am your host, Drusilla Mortem. Tonight, we've really got something special for you to soak your peepers in. Because we're about to watch the 1980s, 90s classic witchy macabre comedy, Roommates. Starring Scream Queens, the sassy siren, Sapphire Barclay as Isadora Le Rouge, and the dazzling dame, Tempest de la Croix as Lilac Rathmore. So without further ado, here's Broommates Screaming Dreams. Hey, what are you looking at? Let's see, spider legs, a lizard egg, fire ants, rat tails, I think that's everything. Excuse me, but could you turn down the broom box, please? I'm trying to make a potion over here and I can't think with all that wacky racket. Sorry about that, Isadora. You know me, always casting spells and raising hell. Speaking of raising hell, look what you've done. You've woken Romero. Romero? Those weren't the only couple of ding-dongs in this movie. Uh, hold your broom. I'll bewitch it in a minute. Now who on earth could that be at this hour? That's for me. It's the pizza guy. But Lilac, the last time I checked, you don't eat pizza. I don't. But I sure could go for a guy. Huh? Oh, you. Sounds like hell won't be the only thing they'll be raising. <laughs> yeah. Tired of the same old snacks? Why not try all new Zombines, the snack that snacks back? Ow! It bit my lip! Is it supposed to do that? In flavors such as rotting flesh, puckery pickle, and brains. Oh, this is foul! Who would buy this? I mean, everything about it is horrible, right down to the- Ow, son of a- Bet you won't be able to put them down. Zombines, the snack that snacks back. Ow, get it off me, you stupid bean! Why does the product exist? Okay, okay, I've had quite enough of that. It's also okay that it's time for that part of the show that we like to call Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. Visions of future boo. Oh, Fanny Franks is really on the fritz tonight. It's a bit extra, isn't it? Well, anyways, while you were busy disassociating while watching TV, I was trying to think of a way that we could release Fanny from her worldly peepee -pee prison and maybe perhaps finally put her soul to rest. And that's why I predict 
We're gonna flush one for Fanny, folks! If you ask me, D, that's one creepy peepee. It's true. Now what I'm thinking is, if we could all collectively flush together at the same time, maybe we can rinse old Fanny out and over to the afterworld lands. No, that doesn't sound crazy at all. Now repeat after me. Flush one for Fanny. 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 Oh, more pee pee. Now I can sleep. Thank you, girls. I feel so relieved. Wow, G, I can't believe it! It actually worked! Honestly, I can't either. Well, folks, it's the end of the show. Be sure to tune in next time, or we will be having a fussy little holiday. Should be pretty fun! So until next time, folks, thanks for watching Fashion Trashin'. I'm Cinnamon Charles. And I'm Diamond Jumal. See you next time, a creeping fur queen! a long time ago, when I was a kid, saw a strange things, so you bet I did, but none of them scare me any greater than the likes of the Sinister Shadow Man.